I was working as a psychosocial counselor. It was uh, I was work uh, a part of it. It was uh, for gender-based violence. Uh, that was uh, my position. Uh, so uh, I didn't face. Uh, I didn't feel uh, safe in the country anymore since uh, Taliban arrived. So uh, we don't know who is the target. Uh, for the next target is who because they are killing uh, several like different people from different um, places. So we get out from the country. I came with my uh, one sister and one brother and uh, other my family member are uh, now in Iran. They didn't have a passport on that time. We were trying to go um, from uh, uh, the borders to cross the borders because of my family. But my parents are too old. I mean, they can't uh, do, they can't uh, uh, cross the border by walking. Getting a passport was a tough work. It was like very, very hard for after a few months, we got it, and my family is now in Iran. They are safe, and uh, we expect that we can bring our family to to a safer place. And I'm sorry. So we are waiting for them to bring them to a safer place and live a normal life. When we arrived in the airport, we didn't have any receiver, so we stayed for one week in the airport without food, shelter, and medicines. And my mom was 60 years old and my wife was eight months pregnant. I had uh, two kids, one of my kids has autism. So with all these difficulties, we stayed for one week in the airport. But right now, there are many organizations that are helping in the airport que agora a gente teve uma leva grande. Foi um ápice até 300 pessoas a gente teve aqui logo. Agora a gente está com 70 pessoas mais ou menos. Mas pode ser que hoje chegue um voo de 50, a gente nunca sabe. É sempre uma caixinha de surpresa. Since the Taliban took uh, the power in Afghanistan, the life became very difficult for those people who worked with uh, foreigners and who had a very uh, what another job like journalists and English teachers or they have worked with an, uh, foreign offices it was very dangerous for them so we were one of those people that we had to uh, leave Afghanistan A Vila Minha Pátria é assim uma iniciativa né dos batistas brasileiros a Convenção Batista Brasileira a gente juntou forças aqui no cuidado é, dos refugiados afegãos. A gente vai ter a hospedagem, a alimentação, a gente vai ter todos os cuidados de saúde, a documentação. A gente vai proporcionar aqui, nesse tempo de três a quatro meses que eles ficam conosco aqui. E outro propósito fundamental da vila é o ensino do português. Então eles precisam do português para se estabelecerem no Brasil. Então nós temos uma equipe aqui investindo nesse nesse programa de ensino básico do português. When my wife was eight uh, months pregnant, we arrived here after two months. After one month, uh, she uh, burned my kid and she burned now. Her name is Fatima, my daughter. She burned in a Tichiba uh, and uh, she is now fine. And she is a Brazilian. Nós começamos as nossas atividades no dia 19 de abril desse ano. Já passaram por nós cerca de 400 pessoas acolhidos aqui. Alguns já estão é, o que nós chamamos de interiorizados, né? Já estão é, sob os cuidados de um grupo de famílias. Nós temos hoje uma capacidade em torno de 170, 180 afegãos né, acolhidos aqui. Na próxima semana a gente deve receber mais algumas pessoas daquelas que estão no aeroporto. Even our neighbor countries did not do the same. We could get the Pakistan and Iran visa. Even we couldn't go to Tajikistan or Uzbekistan or other countries. They wouldn't open their doors for us. They were our uh, first neighbors. But the, but the first country, we will never forget it. The Brazilian government provided us 
to humanitarian visa and they carried us to a very safe place. So I think this is, this is everything. Nós gostamos brasileiros. É Brasil. Obrigado.